Cancer, this is your week ahead tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries Tarot. This is a message for Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. It is an energy reading, so it comes to you when you call it in. Um, and it's your reading, so you take it where it resonates, how it resonates in your life. If you want the full astrology breakdown, I have a second YouTube channel where I go into depth every single week for cancer astrology. Go check that out. It's called Astrology Motivation. Subscribe there and you'll get your cancer uh, astrology reading every single week too. If you're looking for personal readings, I do do those. I actually have some availability next week. Um, my calendar, my bookings, my appointments, all, all of everything regarding personal readings is um, on my website, www.bornwithoutboundariestarot.com. That's the only place though, no other place. Every other place that's reaching out to you, that would be a fake, just an FYI. So we're having a little trouble here maintaining peace. We're having a little trouble here maintaining balance. Um, this could be emotional, it could be financial, we're gonna get into that, but clearly this has, been, this has been difficult. Something is challenging our sense of center and our balance, and I feel an overwhelming sense of being put upon, you know, being, being not just pressured, but feeling, feeling the tightness, feeling the tension, feeling, feeling the pressure. So, be peace is here now this could be also a statement that's saying maybe peaceful isn't the way for us to go right now but i feel like it's more emotional like unsettled so hold on a little bit in the past we have transformation is beautiful so change in the past you have changed before and you've allowed yourself to blossom and bloom and you've trusted you sort of given into the impending change and that's how you're supposed to overcome the obstacles or that's how you were able to overcome the obstacles in the past so now there is a sense of there's there's uh imbalance again but once again lean into it lean into it because that's where you'll find your peace again i think what's hard is there was such a sense of i did it i actually broke through it and now there's this complication of wait a minute wasn't everything supposed to be easy on this side wasn't why am i why am i once again struggling or challenged right and and ultimately life is an ebb and flow it's it's waves right you you rise high and then you go low the thing is this and this is really 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 what i want you to think about have you really reached as low as you were before this wave or are you still on the upper level it's just you're coming down toward the bottom of that level now because it's really something that we have to start to think about to realign ourselves with gratitude which will bring in abundance this sense of realizing but i am way better off than i have been when i came down before it was actually a much lower low so let's but let's see let's see we have see the big picture Mm, open up open your eyes to a, a larger perspective or not yeah yeah see the big picture so that that's what I was trying to describe to you like I know it feels bad with regards to why is this disappointing what what the heck but ultimately you're still not as low as you were and you're never going to be because you have elevated so there was this beautiful change and this kind of transformation is permanent this is metamorphosis metamorphosis isn't just change metamorphosis is transformation so whatever change happened to you spirit wants you to know it's not going to take it away because it wanted you to be that new version of you or have that new life you're just now hitting a low at your new life or in your new life so it's almost like saying zoom out cancerians to help yourselves and to see the big picture of first of all how is this impacting everybody else is other people are affected it's not just you you're not being singled out but also in terms of your own personal experience zoom out so you can realize oh things things may be worse than they were but they're not as bad as it has been and that is helpful a helpful place to start 
time for a beginner mind this is porcupine energy which means it's kind of defensive it's like i don't want to start over maybe i was happy where i was before or things are a little bit uncomfortable when it comes to having to learn something new or um having to have this whole new mindset um a little prickly a little prickly a little defensive but still you are capable and you are armed and at the ready you can still overcome any obstacle absolutely especially since what you've been through before was probably a heck of a lot worse than what you're going through now time for a beginner's mind does confirm for us that you've got to open yourself up to something different to either seeing something from a different perspective or trying something new or both um, and then we have be at home maybe you guys are now in a different home you have moved homes or changed homes or with regards to home and you know that always hits us closest to home cancerians there's a sense of you got to look at things from a different perspective something with regards to home and your your house your ha your family or your actual location where you live there could be a, a need for a new mindset with regards to that whether it's a new mindset of where you're going to live or where you're comfortable living or the style in which you're living, it's the universe is calling you to, to reconfigure your, um, your conclusions. The conclusions that you've come to are not the conclusions that work right now. And so being flexible will help. Let's see what's a little bit into the future. There is always enough. And this is incredible energy um, because it's a little bit into the future remember this reading is for the week if you're watching this when I upload it August 30th the end of this week is going to be a full moon and it's a full moon in Pisces and that is a hundred percent going to be impactful toward us and it's very emotional but it's also look look at the message realizing finally that there's always enough we don't actually need more we already we've got it we're good this also means you know it's cluing us in that there's going to be emotions here especially with this energy coming before it things could get quite emotional leading up to this full moon for us but when we're able to relinquish the way that we have been seeing things and see things differently it's almost like a realization can come to us that we we don't actually need more and we don't maybe even need as much as we've had but wait because we're just beginning remember there's always an extended to this is not a half reading i'm gonna answer your questions but if y'all love hanging out with me and you really love being uncensored with me and you want digging into the details the extended are the place to go and i'm so happy that you come and support the channel there so those links are always below and they're always um, you know, easy to reach. If you're on television watching this, you need to go to your mobile phone, laptop, desktop, a computer device. That's where the links are available. What is this B piece? Why is B piece in reverse? So, okay, there's some sort of defeat here when we get in the nitty gritty now. Well, so there's lovers here. In the past, this was lovers, and it's also, it was like this. So it's looking backwards at some great love affair. Now, this is not uncommon right now because we're in, we just entered Mercury retrograde, Venus is in retrograde. There's this, there's this sense of maybe defeating what you have now and removing the peace from what you have now because you're looking back and you're comparing what you used to have. But remember, Cancerians, and we all do this, but especially Cancerians, we always remember the past better than it was. And because it's not what's pissing us off or upsetting us at this time, or it's not what, maybe it's not just what's challenging us at this time. We always remember the past as, oh, now it becomes ideal. Oh, now it was so amazing. I'm here to remind you, spirit is here to remind you, ain't shit about that, that was amazing. It was what it was, and I, I hope you learned and grew, and it was some happiness there too. But believe me when I say you're defeating what you have in front of you right here, right now. You are not seeing how beautiful it is because you are looking backward and adoring it just because it's in the past. And basically, memories are nothing but fantasies that we fool ourselves to believing are true. 
That is all they are. It is your daydream about what used to be. And I can tell you right now, there's something beautiful that's sitting there in front of you in your life. There's something, there's a lot of good going on. You're not seeing it. You're defeating it because of this imbalanced way. It's like it takes you a while to appreciate the here and now. And but listen, you could trick your mind. This is this is what we're gonna do together. Picture into the future. Like imagine what you have right now. Imagine that it's in the future. Or like imagine it right now. Imagine what you have right now completely taken away from you. And just ne never again, no more. Now all of a sudden, you might start to realize or appreciate what you have right now. Because once upon a time, what you had that was so great in retrospect, you didn't appreciate that either. Because you're so busy, we were looking back. Looking back, looking back, looking back only moves you backwards. We have to focus on the here and now because we're defeating ourselves right now. Okay, so let's get a little bit deeper into all this. What's going on? What's going on? There could also be a reemergence of an old lover, which would be common for Mercury retrograde. Oh no, but we're working on it. We're working on something. So it's not about Mercury retrograde. It is about focusing on here and now. That's what it is. I got to just trust my instincts. So this is about seeing the beauty in the work. Seeing the the being grateful for the work and something is actually starting to work out. It's almost like there was just contemplation. Somebody couldn't make up their mind, especially with regards to work. You could be frustrated and be considering giving up because you haven't gotten responses back from resumes or you haven't gotten responses back or maybe your spouse or your significant, other, whatever this is, it's like you're whatever you're working on and you're trying to focus on, it seems that they're taking forever to get back to you, right? It's just, it's like delayed reaction. The Queen of Cups is here. She's coming out in the future, and this could definitely represent you, Cancerians. A sense of decide to love as if you were looking back at it, which I just did. We just went through that practice. Decide to love this as if you were looking back at it. And you'll be surprised at how filled with love you actually become. It's also saying if you work at it, whatever you have in front of you now, if you work at it, it will grow to be something that is incredibly fulfilling to you. It is 100% giving you that message. Cancer, bring love into the equation. Yeah, you got to, okay. You've heard that expression, right? If you can't be the one, if you can't be with the one you love, love the one you're with. Cancer, I'm here to tell you, you're actually with your soulmate right now. Or you're doing what you're meant to be doing at work or whatever. It's just because there's difficulties around it that you don't get it, you don't see it, and you're reminiscing about the past to sort of medicate yourself, right? Instantaneous gratification from a memory. All it's doing is tricking out your dopamine. That's all you're doing. Right here, right now, you have something extraordinarily special that you have prayed for in your life. And you need to appreciate it in the here and now if you want it to grow because you will be realizing how good it is not too long from now. Hold on. Bring love into the situation. Uh-huh. Shut up. And a new romantic cycle begins. Something new has just started. And re remember, romance means idealism. It doesn't necessarily mean who you're dating. But it's, it's saying you don't realize it now because you've had a down, you've, you've, you've witnessed a lot of defeats, primarily because you don't think people have really been noticing the hard work that you've been doing. Whatever this is, career law, whatever this is. But I will say this to you right now. This is so beautiful. And 10 years from now, if you've nurtured what you have right now, you are going to be the envy of everybody like you wishing they had what you had. And hopefully you'll realize and appreciate, I'm glad I stuck to this. I'm glad I hung on. 
we have step out of your comfort zone that's what we're saying hello the moon cards are saying whatever it is if it feels counterintuitive it's probably right and then meditate and contemplate to receive new emotions step out of your comfort zone to allow more to come in new emotions new insights new psychic energy and a personal issue reaches full moon in cancer a full a personal issue reaches resolution that is incredible where all this energy just works itself out even if it feels like oh it's not it's gonna it's gonna flow it's gonna come let's go to the extended guys i can't wait to see you there